know if you can hear that or not, but the package has arrived. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's time to go feed the chickens, check on the new meat birds, let the dogs out, feed them, feed the cats. Already, I've already had my breakfast. I juiced a juice for Dina, and we are headed to church this morning. So, just wanted to say hi over there. We got a harvest right freezer, freeze dryer. We're gonna do some videos on that too. But come along, let's do some morning, quick morning chores. We got to let Miss Molly and Harley out for their morning. Off to the races, Harley stopped getting a drink. Then we head out to the chicken pen. I've got a bucket full of scraps from making Dina's juice. And we'll give that to the chickens and give them some more feed. They, uh, they like their feed. I don't know any chicken that don't. Y'all can see, oh, we got Buff Orphan Canal over there. Probably more than one, but we've got three ducks, which I'm not a fan of. We've got some Rhode Island Reds. We got a red blue lace wine dot. Some chocolate Orphingtons. Uh, there's the chocolate chocolate Orphington rooster. And we got some Delawares and some uh, black copper Moran. I like to call her Bernice after so the land. It's a mixed herd. We got some well summers, a couple of them. Some of them give to us, some of them we uh, purchased. And we have the Rhode Island Red Rooster and the Delawares to, on purpose, so that we can uh, hatch our own cinnamon queens. Good morning, Tuesday. That is Tuesday on a Sunday, right there. Good morning, Tuesday. Say good morning to the cows. A few of them up here. A couple of them somewhere else. Chickens have left the scrap pile because they know I'm headed to give them some grain. <laughs> They'll return to that scrap pile over there from Gina's juicing after they get done with the feed. No name there. She is always the first one up here to see if I've got something for them. I think it's feeding time every time they see me. Let's go see if we can get this long buff Orphington back in the pen. This is a, this is an electric chicken netting from a rent a coop. It works real good. Uh, especially for predators haven't had any predator problem since we got this netting like literally the only time i've had any predator problem since i got this netting was uh when i left the gate open had them out roaming had them out free ranging but 
which I do from time to time. <clears throat> but during garden season, we don't let them free range too much because they eat, they eat parts of the garden that wasn't planted for them. And we, we try to plant plenty when we plant. Well, here's my plan. There's the chicken that's out. It's Buff Orphington. I've got a little gap under the fence there. I'm just gonna try to walk her around to there and let her back in. But all these other chickens are preoccupied with the food I put out. There she goes, right around. Keep going, girl. She is back in. How about that? Works most of the time. Well, that's got the chickens fed for this morning. We will come revisit them this evening. They're cleaning that up pretty good. There's no name, Tuesday, little mama and birdie. And there's baby D over there. Let's go check on the new meat chickens. Think I'm probably gonna need a little water. Get this scrap bucket and the cat was just rolling around, look at her. That's my outside cat named Cat. I think she actually has a name. I don't remember it. Okay, here we are. They are a little bit low on water. Still got some, but I'm gonna clean that out and get them, get them some fresh water. While we're waiting, while I'm doing that, I'll let y'all watch them. I'm gonna throw in a clip here of our activities after church today. So we had a lot of fun shooting skeet, and I hope y'all enjoy watching. They have still got some feed. They're not eating a whole lot yet, but they will be soon. Them little dudes will turn into some incredible eaters. I can already tell that they are growing since we brought them home Wednesday and this is Sunday. They were born Wednesday and this is Sunday. It's week one. 52 chicks. So on May the 7th, we will be having a uh, chicken processing workshop here at the farm. So if you are interested in the chicken processing workshop, leave us a note in the comments so we can get you set up to come join us. Well, it's time for me to get ready for church. So we're out here today with the church, shooting a little skeet. Uh, just having a good time. And uh, thought I'd just share this with y'all. And we'll see if uh, I get in front of the camera to shoot or not, whether or not I want y'all to know how well I shoot. Got a pretty good crowd of people here. getting ready to play knockout and the way this works is you have a whole line of people everybody that wants to play you number off one two three and they're the first participants from whichever end you start number one calls pull and the bird is thrown he has first shot if he misses number two gets a shot if number two hits and number one had missed number one is out if number two misses number three gets a shot and if he hits, number two is out. And it just keep going down that whole line there until there's one person left.
Ronnie won. Say hello, Ronnie. He's the winner. Hello, Ronnie. He's the winner. It's not going to be a very long video. I am going to go ahead and sign off right here. This is just a good Sunday morning uh, to all of y'all. And we... Uh, we enjoyed our visit at the Oki Homesteading Expo yesterday. Met a lot of great people. So a lot of YouTubers. And they got to meet us for some of them for the first time. So anyway, uh, before I go in and get ready for church, I want you to know that we love you. And that we uh, hope that you have a blessed day. But most of all, we want to encourage you to go out and be a blessing for somebody today. God bless.